washed off the printer, took off the skirt, and let's take a look. This is done without any special cooling. The back of the uh, boat is going to be pretty bad, relatively speaking. You can see there's not sufficient cooling on this side. Surprisingly, simple downdraft from this opening here was sufficient to keep the bow pretty nice. Uh, the chimney did, didn't get enough cooling obviously, so there's some suffering here. That's what you get for printing without a cooling duct. I suppose I had one on hand. I should have tried this version. I do have something that's kind of close enough. It would have been a much nicer benchy. We did this just about in 52 minutes. Slicer estimated 48, so that's the ballpark. Not a speed benchy by any means, but a decent decent benchy for a, essentially a first draft. I'm happy overall. Gotta finish the duct. Add the second tool here, so I'll have a, a mirror set up left and right. And uh, I have the push-push latch right here on the carriage, so that makes it really nice. And then another cool part is that let me grab this removal tool so with this with this removal tool you put that on your axle uh linear rail slide this out slide this out and you can easily free your printer get the belts off and you can have the tool removed just like that uh very very quick and easy probably the quickest way you can dock and undock the tool on a conventional printer obviously not a full-blown tool changer but again i always say magnetic idex or in general even idex is the simplest form of a tool changer so that's my uh, latest uh, design quite happy with how Piccolino is uh, getting its own printer and yeah I'm really bummed that I didn't make it to the Rep Rep Festival this year Murph 2025 I was pushing really hard to get this machine up and running all the cooling ducts the filament bib is missing still and uh, the second tool is fully printed but not assembled yet so that goes on this carriage right here and again just to see how easy and quick it is to install you just click these bearings back in and your motion system is ready to do to rock and roll so that's where we are at uh, amazing how little cooling you need to get a decent benchy again this was just a, a without a duct so i'll have to adjust that I've got, I've done a flow test on this. I'm, I am about, actually, I guess I'll show it to you. Uh, let me move the bench out of the way. So the flow test, this is 20 to 35. I am right around 22 with this setup. Now you can see that's, but amazingly how it recovers. You hear a click and you get this Morse code here. So the printer is able to keep up quite nicely without cooling in this case without directed ducted cooling it's just passively spilling air onto the bed 20 21 22 maybe 23 even millimeters per second i i capped it at 22 in my slicer quite decent quite reasonable for this volcano uh ceramic green ring heater thanks for watching like share subscribe Bye. And it's finally finished. I think my daughter will love it. Let's see, can I take it off? These are supposed to be different color, but obviously this print hides all the flaws if there are any, but the little chick came out just fine. Yes, this is why I missed Murph this year. 
didn't get the printer done fast enough. Maybe next year.